Mass hysteria. When the public starts to go crazy and lose their cool for no rational reason. Although it can be laughable in retrospect, it can come with some very serious consequences at the moment. Hello everyone, welcome to Top 10 History, your hub for historical lists and amazing history facts. Today we're going to look at 10 cases of mass hysteria throughout history. Make sure to watch until number 1 because the number 1 craziest case of mass hysteria that we chose might surprise you. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on because we release a new historical top 10 list every single day. Also, make sure to smash that like button. Alright, let's get right into the video. Number 10. Meowing Nuns If there were any place in history for mass hysteria, it would be at some religious affiliation. And you'll notice this as a pattern as this list goes on. Today, becoming a nun is a life choice that some women opt into out of their own will. But back in medieval times, many nuns were forced into the service against their will. And these nuns were subjected to horrible living conditions. They had to pledge celibacy, had to commit to a life of poverty, handwork, and complete obedience to church authorities that were placed above them. They were essentially slaves to the church. As you might expect, living in such conditions might be incredibly stressful and might make one to start go crazy. And that's exactly what happened. One of the nuns in a French church started to meow like a cat. Back then, cats weren't the cute companions that we know them as today, but they were more known as the symbol of the devil. Eventually, every nun in the church started meowing, and it got out of hand to the point where the military was called in to beat the nuns until they stopped. After the military took action, the nuns finally stopped. Number 9. Biting Nuns Speaking of a bunch of nuns going crazy, here's another example of the life of nunnery driving one insane. And this was similar to the previous example we just talked about. It started with one nun literally biting her companions. And eventually the entire congregation of nuns were running around biting each other. And that's not all. Unlike the meowing nuns, this kind of behavior started to spread throughout all of Europe. With reports of ravenous nuns from as far as south as Rome to as far north as Amsterdam. This, of course, worried the people, and there were numerous attempts to put an end to the hype. The church attempted to calm the situation by simple prayer and even exorcisms, but the old-fashioned approach of threatening to beat the nuns to death seemed to do the trick, putting an end to the mass hysteria. Number 8. The Dance Plague Do you ever sometimes get an earworm, meaning that you have a song that's stuck in your head all day and you find yourself singing and dancing along to it at home, at work, and or the car? Seems normal, right? But imagine dancing along to an earworm and you physically cannot stop dancing and it seems like you won't stop dancing until you drop dead. Well that's essentially what happened in 1518 in Strasbourg, France. A French citizen by the name of Fao Trophia started dancing in the streets of France with no music or any context, which lasted for 4-6 to six days without any break. Within the month, this dancing plague spread and there were about 400 people dancing in the streets of France with no end in sight a lot of which ended up dying of exhaustion. To this day, no one can explain how this example of mass hysteria started or ended. Some theories involve a mass case of seizures and other theories point to religious related history, but the real cause still remains a mystery. Number 7. The Salem Witch Trials It's probably no surprise that this made it on this list. The Salem Witch Trials are undoubtedly one of the most famous cases of mass hysteria in world history. How it started was with two girls named Abigail and Elizabeth, who started to behave strangely by making screaming, strange noises, and making violent gestures such as throwing objects around. Eventually, other young girls in the town of Salem started demonstrating similar behaviors. It grew of great concern to the community, and it was thus concluded that these young women were possessed by the devil. They weren't ordinary young women, they were witches. As a result, many of these young women were put on trial by the church and the state for practicing the evil art of illegal witchcraft and doing work for the devil. 30 of the accused were found guilty, 19 of which were executed. This notorious event would go down in history as one of the most ridiculous examples of mass hysteria in not just American history, but also world history. Number 6. The Tanzania Laughing Epidemic Like the dance plague, like we talked about, where one cannot stop dancing until they drop dead, met a similar and as equally bizarre of an epidemic. I'm talking about the Tanzania laughing epidemic. It all started by a single joke that was told inside a boarding school in Tanzania. It started with three girls at the school who started to laugh uncontrollably without being able to stop. Over the course of 18 months, this laughter epidemic spread to hundreds of people throughout the country. The school where it started even had to shut down two months after the start of the incident, being that more than half of its students were diagnosed with a manic and uncontrollable laughter. 
Children who were affected suffered from pain, breathing problems, rashes, and other painful symptoms as in some cases, children could not stop laughing for up to 16 whole days. While this laughing epidemic affected mostly children, some of the children's parents were also affected, who then spread the unusual condition to neighboring villages. Number 5. The War of the Worlds Alien invasions are a popular topic in the world of science fiction. Whether extraterrestrial life actually exists or not, there's no denying that popular media has made it a popular topic for horror, science fiction, and a dystopian reality that humans might actually someday face. Well, there was a time in history before the Second World War that the masses actually believed that there was a Martian invasion. In 1938, an adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds was broadcast over the radio. However, some citizens who were listening to the broadcast over the radio had no idea they were listening to fiction. Combined with the rising tensions of the years leading up to the Second World War, they believed that the story of the Martian invasion was actually reality. Thousands of citizens, especially in New Jersey and New York City, started to flood the streets in panic like the Armageddon has come. The story of this hysteria spread over the world, giving the Oscar Orson Welles a lot of attention. RKO Radio Pictures actually picked up his book and made into a film adaptation, which then became one of the most popular films ever made. Number 4. The Satanic Panic Speaking of a book that led to mass hysteria throughout the US, let's talk about the Satanic Panic of the 1980s and 1990s. It all started with a book called Michelle Remembers, written by Michelle Smith. The book claimed that she was forced to participate in a satanic cult that her mother was a member of. She claimed that she had to endure horrific atrocities such as eating human flesh, and drinking urine, sexual assault, imprisonment, forced to witness human sacrifice, and being bathed with the blood of other humans. The book became a bestseller and was featured on The Oprah Winfrey Show, People Magazine, and The National Enquirer. The publishing of this book led to a panic and public fear of satanic cults and groups. Americans started to fear if these kinds of cults could actually be taking place in their own communities. As a result, many people started to get wrongfully accused of some of the crimes listed above, as well as of cult involvement. However, it was discovered that Michelle Smith's book was incredibly inaccurate and was disproven. Michelle claims that she was able to remember these horrific events through recovered memory therapy, which has been scientifically disproven. Not only that, none of Michelle's claims have been backed up with any real evidence, destroying the credibility of her story. But whether her story was real or not, there's no denying that it caused a mass panic and hysteria throughout the United States. Evil Clown Sightings now this is an example of mass hysteria that happened multiple times throughout recent history in the United States. The last notable year of this occurrence happened as recently as 2016. The first instances of evil clown sightings happened in 1981, where there were reports of clowns trying to lure children into vans offering candy as bait. There were also reports of evil clowns hiding in bushes with knives and other weapons who would jump out and attack. However, despite the dozens of claims by children who were reporting these clown sightings, there were no reports of clowns, or at least criminals dressed as clowns, ever being taken into custody. This led authorities to believe that these sightings are nothing but hysteria, since there would be a bunch of reports which would then disappear suddenly for a few years without any arrests or official police reports. In 2016, some clowns were actually captured and arrested. However, it was believed that these were only teenagers who were dressing up as clowns as a prank and were just parodying the whole trend. Number 2. The Pokemon Panic If you never thought that an episode of a popular children's show would make it onto a history channel, well, here you go. On December 16th in 1997, an episode of the animated Pokemon series aired that caused quite a bit of controversy. There was a particular scene in this episode where Pikachu discharges an electricity attack, which then results in a series of flashing red and blue lights. When this episode first aired, this particular scene happened at 6.51pm in Japan. However, just 39 minutes later, 600 children were checked into the hospital and were reportedly showing symptoms of seizures. This mass reporting of cases attracted the attention of the media. At the end of all the commotion, it was said that over 12,000 children suffered from symptoms of the infamous Pokemon scene. However, out of all the reported cases, it was said that only a very small number of these children were actually diagnosed with having a photosensitive epilepsy seizure. That means the vast majority of these cases were hysteria, and not genuine cases of epileptic seizures. This episode of the popular Pokemon series became banned in most countries that air the show. Tourette Syndrome in New York 
Now for our final case of mass hysteria that we put at the top of this list is when an entire town was supposedly affected with the symptoms of Tourette syndrome. As crazy and ridiculous as it sounds, which it is, in 2011, the town of Leroy, New York started to report some unusual cases. It started with a small group of girls who started to show symptoms of Tourette syndrome, which included tics, muscle spasms, uncontrollable vocal noises, and even seizures. Just a year later, the town now had 20 members who were reporting these types of symptoms. This incident was featured in an entire documentary and lots of media attention. However, after testing and careful examination, it was found that only one of these 20 cases of Tourette's syndrome were true. It is believed that the other girls were either faking their symptoms or they had conversion disorder and were mimicking the symptoms of the one girl who was actually diagnosed with Tourette's. By the end of the year, this case of hysteria officially came to an end and all of the patients were back to normal. Did these facts shock you? Make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more amazing historical facts and much more. If you like this video, check out this next video on the 10 facts about the Russian Revolution. Alright, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.